Hello and welcome everybody to Five Minute Friday. I am Ali from CDH, I'm a software developer, and today I'm gonna talk about team tabs and apps. Um, and then both are kind of related, so tabs could be actually apps. Um, the apps themselves, there are two kinds of apps. There are uh, personal apps and then team-related apps. Um, um, if you're using Teams, you probably notice the tabs, they're everywhere within the chat uh, or the Teams. Um, and by default, um, if you create a team in the channel, you'll have two tabs, that is the conversation tab and the file tab. Um, and if you're doing a private chat or a one-to-one -one chat, uh, then you get four tabs, um, the conversation tab, where you see all your uh, conversations with the person, the files, with, that's every file that you've shared with that person so you don't have to go through the conversation and try to find it. And then you'll have two additional tabs. Um, one that is the organization uh, and what that is, if you have that set up in Office 365, uh, it would be the person you are uh, currently uh, chatting with, uh, position or hierarchy in the company. So you'll be able to see his manager and all the hierarchy up to the top. And then you have the activity tab and that will show uh, the other person's activity in the teams you're shared with. So if you have, if you're in a team with that person or multiple teams, every time that person posts, you'll see his activity here. Uh, so it's kind of a timeline history of what he's been doing with you. Um, and then the same thing for teams, we have the conversations and then we have the files and that's all the files that you've shared or everybody shared in that team. Um, you can also add more tabs and make teams a little bit more productive um, and it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, so let's say you're working on a project, uh, you have that one site that everybody has to go to, you can always add a tab and say a website and you can have that website always uh, pinned to your team. So there it is. And then there are, um, like I said, um, apps and then the tabs are actually considered apps so it depends on how uh, the developer did their app so they could be tab apps um, or personal apps um, so if you have a tab app you can add let's say OneNote which you can link a specific uh, note, uh, notebook to the team so every time everybody who goes into the team uh, they'll always uh, have that uh, notebook open for them and they can start taking notes, uh, reading the notes, everything from that one tab. So they don't have to actually go to OneNote, uh, find which notebook they're supposed to add those, these notes to. So if you had something that you caught in the conversations and you wanted to note something, you can always just hit that tab um, and then you're in the context itself. Um, of course, you can add apps uh, through Ellipsis from here, and then you can actually add OneNote, but that will be not linked to a specific team, so this will be personal to you, um, and that's another cool feature. Uh, and this would be, uh, it depends on the app itself, so at least for OneNote, it is, uh, it will add a new note that's related to teams, and then you can start um, adding and jotting ideas in it, but it could be a different app, let's say um, Trello or Connector to Pivotal Tracker, uh, where you'll actually have more options related to your account. Um, another thing with tabs I wanted to mention that if you have files, you can actually pin the files, especially if they were Office files. Uh, I'm gonna show one example here. So if you had an Excel file that everybody's editing, um, if, if, if you must have the file uploaded. So either the file was shared using the conversation or you can go 
to the files tab, upload a file, you can always right click the file and say make this tab and that will make the file a tab and then you can actually, if it's an office file, you can edit it within Teams itself. Um, that's all for today. Um, you can always sign up for the next Five Minutes Friday uh, in our website um, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.